our Nutcracker Ballet. It was Christmas Eve. Marie and her brother Fritz peeked into the living room. Oh, I can't wait for the party to start, said Marie. At last, the living room doors were opened and the children rushed in. The Christmas tree was dazzling. Hundreds of tiny candles twinkled. Sparkling decorations and candies hung from all the branches. Under the tree were so many presents. Soon the guests arrived. Aunts and uncles, cousins and friends came carrying even more presents. Marie ran to greet her godfather. He was an odd looking man. He was tall and thin. He wore a black patch over one eye and a frizzy white wig on his head. He looked magical and spooky. Show us your magical and spooky. But he was a wonderful godfather. He always came with amazing toys that he had invented himself. This Christmas Eve, he came with a big red box and an even bigger green box. He opened the red box and out stepped a very big toy soldier. Godfather turned the key on his head. Everyone clapped in delight. Then Godfather looked under the tree. He picked a present for Marie and gave it to her. I moved it to the table so it would fall. It was a wooden nutcracker shaped like a little man. Marie knew at once that the nutcracker was special. His legs were too short, his head mm, too big. He wore a fine purple suit with brass buttons. On his head was a funny little hat. His eyes were kind and gentle. He had a white beard and a wonderful smile. Godfather watched Marie with a twinkle in his eye. It is a small gift, he said to her. Marie hugged the nutcracker and said, it is the present I love best of all. Then Fritz grabbed Marie, I'm sorry, then Fritz grabbed the nutcracker from Marie. What a silly fellow, he said. He ran across the room. Marie chased after him. Fritz put on the biggest walnut he could find into the poor nutcracker's mouth. Crack, crack, crack. Three wooden teeth fell out. Stop it, Fritz, you're hurting him, cried Marie. She took the nutcracker back and rocked him in her arms. I will protect you forever, she whispered. After the party was over and everyone was in bed, Marie could not sleep. She tiptoed downstairs into the dark living room. It was so cold. And then, boing, boing, the grandfather clock began to strike midnight. Marie was surprised by the noise. She looked up at the tall clock, and suddenly she saw something strange at the top. Something was moving. Godfather was sitting on top of the clock. He peered down at Marie like an owl. Godfather, you scared me, cried Marie. But before she could say another word, the most amazing thing happened. The Christmas tree began to grow. It grew bigger and bigger and bigger. As the Christmas tree grew, the windows and toys and everything in the room grew, grew with it. Soon the toys were the same size as Marie. Marie watched in amazement. Suddenly she heard squeak. Squeak, squeak. Then she heard the pitter-patter of many feet. Dozens of eyes glittered and darted all around her. Marie was surrounded by an army of huge mice. Out jumped the king of the mice. He had seven horrible heads. Where's your horrible heads? Marie. Where is the nutcracker? He hissed. But 
But Marie would not tell him. The king of my squeaked his command to his army. Find the nutcracker. <laughs> the door of the toy chest flew open. Out popped toy soldiers. Puppets and dolls. They were led by the nutcracker. He was the same size as Marie. Drums beat, trumpets blared, the battle began. He was leading the army of toys. Swords clash, cannons boom. Nutcracker's army chased the mice. But more and more mice came. Nutcracker's armies of toys were being beaten. Mice surrounded the nutcracker. The king of mice grabbed the nutcracker's sword. Now I have you, he squeaked. Marie watched in horror. Oh, my poor nutcracker, she cried. What could she do? She kicked her right shoe as hard as she could at the mice. Like magic, the mice were gone. Every single one. Marie turned to look at the nutcracker she loved, and before her eyes, the funny-looking wooden nutcracker became a handsome prince. He looked at Marie with his kind eyes and his wonderful smile. <laughs> you saved my life. Now let me take let me take you to my kingdom, the land of sweets. The prince led Marie out of the window into the Christmas wood. The snowflakes tasted like sugar, and little snow fairies danced all around them. <laughs> Soon they came to the prince's palace, and a beautiful lady greeted them. She is the sugar plum fairy, the prince told Marie, and now to the party. <laughs> Marie and the prince went into the palace. They sat together on the golden throne. Angel golden throne. All the people in the land of sweets appeared. One by one, they gained the dance of the hot chocolate. <laughs> An Arabian lady did the dance of coffee. <laughs> Chinese dancers jumped out of a giant teapot and did a lively dance. <laughs> From Russia came the dancing candy canes. All the flowers of the kingdom danced the waltz of the flowers. I wish we could stay here forever, said Marie. Yes, said the prince, but now it is time to go on to other wonderful places. Marie and her nutcracker prince stepped into the royal sled and waved goodbye. The sled rose into the sky. Marie and the prince, she had loved from the start,